Okay, guys, let's tie together a two-dimensional kinematics problem with the cliff and an angle. So let's take a peek. All right, so let's say we are uh, on our cliff here. Call this cliff with angle. Okay, so let's say... Um, I've got a cannonball launcher that shoots a cannonball right like this and then comes down here. Okay, so I'm going to draw a dotted line going here because that's kind of important to know where uh, that's going to hit here. Okay. Okay, let's say the cannonball starts deep inside the cannon and it starts at ground level right here. Okay. Let's give the cannon ball of velocity initial. Um, let's say uh, 250 meters per second at 30 degrees. Okay, we'll call this a 30 degree angle. So it starts off here. 30 degree angle. Okay, so a couple questions for you. Uh, number one, um, how far off the edge of the cliff is this thing going to go? Okay, um, now we've got a couple of things. It's not horizontal anymore. Okay, it's not horizontal anymore. And we need to know a few things. Okay, first of all, we need to know, so if we bring a line up here, a line up here, we need to know this uh, distance. Actually, I'll make it like a little like this. The distance from here to here, we'll call that like x1 uh, from here to here. Okay. Um, we also need to know, understand that we have angles here. So at the highest point, Okay, the velocity uh, in the y direction here is zero. We also need to apply the knowledge that the x velocity is going to be the same throughout until it hits the ground. Okay, so we've got this. Uh, we've got a loaded problem here. We've got this here. Um, we're going to say that x1 is 12 meters. Okay, so this x1 here will be 12 meters away from the edge of the cliff. Okay, so now you're looking at the problem, you're saying, okay, what do we do? Um, let's write down our knowns and let's write down our unknowns. We know x1 is 12. We know the, well, we know the height of the, the cliff too. We'll say it's uh, 30 meters. Cliff is 30 meters. Okay. All right. So, big loaded question. Okay, y of cliff is 30 meters. Acceleration of gravity is negative 9.8. Okay. Vy. Uh, top is zero meters per second. Okay, so let's do our triangle stuff over here. Okay, I'll make a little box over here for our triangle stuff. So we know from the last question that the x uh, component v x is the velocity cosine the angle the vy is the velocity sine angle so let's figure out what these things are okay so uh, vx uh, the initial velocity is 250 so this would be 250 times the cosine of the angle This is 250 times the sine of the angle. 
Okay, well, let's figure it out right here. So 250. And co 30 cosine times 250. Okay, so we found out that the x velocity is 216.5 meters per second. Okay, uh, solving for this one. Now the velocity in the y direction, the initial velocity in the y direction is uh, 30 sine times 250. All right, so the velocity in the y direction is a positive 125 meters per second. So we've broken that velocity up, this one here, into its x velocity, um, which is 216.5, 216.5. And then the same here, and the same here, and the same throughout. So we can figure out how far it's gone based on that. So let's do it. Okay, so we've got the uh, we've got the y velocity, we've got the x velocity. Let's get a time. Okay, let's figure out what kind of time this thing is in the air for. Um, now to get the time. From this point, we know that it shoots up, goes up here, and then goes back down. So I can get the time at the top. So time, it's not time half now because it's going to fall further. So we'll call it time sub t. Um, and we used an equation that uh, was vf y minus v naught y over acceleration of gravity. Okay, we know that the, the this is zero. V naught y we just found over here. 125. We're gonna leave the unit off there. Negative 9.8. So let's check it out. 125 divided by 9.8. Okay, so the time to the top to here. Time to the top is 12. Point eight seconds. Okay, so now we're good. We've got twelve point eight seconds here, all the way to the very top. But now we've got an issue. Okay, because now, yeah, if this were landing here, it'd be an easy range problem. But it's not. It continues to go this way. Okay, so we've got an issue here where we've got a velocity zero. We've got a time to the top. Time to here would actually be double, okay? And then the um, thing about a projectile is that the velocity is going to be the same here as here, but go in the opposite direction. So that gives us a lot of information, actually. So that tells me that this thing is being starting at an initial velocity of vy at this point is going to be negative 125 meters per second. Okay, we've got an initial velocity. So, like, from here on is a separate problem. Okay, so that's a separate problem. So let's figure that out now. So the vy... We'll call it initial is 125. The VY here is going to be quite a bit faster. Okay, quite a bit faster. So let's 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 reconvene and solve for that. Okay, here we go. Okay, so velocity here, negative 125, it's going to be faster here. Okay, so let's get a time a fall from this point to this point, we know that it's 30 meters. Okay, so let's look at just this part of the problem. Y is 30 meters. V initial in the Y direction is negative 125 meters per second. Acceleration of gravity, always negative 9.8 meters per second. Okay, let's see what's happening over here. Um, let's get the time that this thing's in the air for from here to here. 
I got the time from here to here already, no problem. So let's see what we got here. I've got a y, I've got an initial velocity, and I've also got an acceleration of gravity. I don't have a final velocity. I don't have that. So in this case, okay, we've got a um, initial acceleration in y. Okay, let's figure it out. Time. Okay, over acceleration. So now we've got to use the quadratic formula in solving for time here because we do have an initial velocity here. Okay, so the time we're going to just plug some numbers in. Negative velocity initial in the y direction is 125. Uh, VO squared, 125 squared. All right, plus 2 times 9.8 times the y height of negative 30. Okay. Plus 2 times 9.8 times Okay, so, so we've, got a, we've got a thing here, we've got a velocity, we found out what this is, okay, it's plus or minus. So, since acceleration is negative 9.8, and we'll actually put negative 9.8, then this one has to be the negative version. 125 minus 129.6. So we've got negative 4.6 over negative 9.8. So the rest of the trip from here to here, because it's going so fast, is. Point Four seven seconds. Okay, so that's 0. 0.47 seconds for the rest of the trip. Okay, so let's let's, let's reconvene here. All right, so the time it takes to get to here is 12.8. The time it takes to get from here is another 12.8. And then the time it takes to fall the additional 30 meters is about a half a second because it's going fast at that point. So we've got time total equals 12.8 plus 12.8 plus 0.47. So 12.8 plus 12.8 plus 0.47. So we got 26. Time total is 26.07. Seconds. Now, this is not to scale. This is this would end up going up much higher. Um, 26.07 seconds. So the total x, like the total distance that this thing goes from here to here, from here to here, okay, is velocity in the x direction times time. Velocity in the x direction is not a big deal. We've got it 216.5. 
meters per second times the time, the total time we got of 26.07 seconds. 216 times 26 point seven. Okay, so the total x, x, x. So x is five thousand six hundred and thirty one meters. Okay. That's from here to here, like that. Now, if we had our original like, distance here was like 12 meters, then off the edge of the cliff, okay, this would be, if that's the total 5631, then we wanted to find out from here to here. Pretty simple, because from here to here is 5631. Then we'll subtract our uh, original 12 meters. Okay, so 5631 minus the 12. Okay, so we got 5619 meters. So here's the deal, 5619 from here to here. Okay, now um, that was a, that's a loaded problem. Okay. Um, one of those types of problems that uh, when you finally get the answer, um, you feel really good. And if you don't get the answer, um, you just keep plugging away and finding out where in the problem you, um, you went wrong. Um, so there's the deal. We broke it up into its uh, components, knew that y velocity was zero at the top, and we went ahead and solved this problem as a separate problem. Now it's going pretty fast at this point, so the time it takes from here to here is a lot shorter. Um, now again, this is not to scale. This should have been a lot higher and then uh, went out a lot further, but I only have a certain amount of space to work with. So there you go, and have a great day.